In recent weeks and months, I've been working to really revamp my workstation that I have here. I have new desk, new chair, lots of new stuff going on. And thankfully, the team over at Tobin One has sent us a new 4K triple docking station for our laptop. And what this is going to let us do is connect our uh, Republic of Gamers laptop that we have to up to three monitors that can do up to 8K at 30 hertz on one of them. It also is going to give us a number of different inputs on here. Looks like three USB-Cs, I'm sorry, two USB-Cs, two, three USB-As, a standard SD card, micro SD card, network connection, and a whole lot more. Now, my laptop that I have currently doesn't have a network connection. It doesn't have a standard size SD card port. So this is one of those that looking at it, I'm really excited to see how it comes out of the box and how easy it is to set up. So let's go ahead, take it out of the box and see how easy it is to set up. So here we have the Tobin One triple 4K docking station on the photo bench here. And, you know, pretty simple and straightforward box. On the back, we do see that it does have a power button to control dock power on and off, three and a half millimeter audio support mic and audio out, USB A 3.2 up to 10 gigabit speed, USB C 3.1 support data transfer and PD 18 watts simultaneously, an SD and micro SD card slot supports uh, SD cards and uh, uh, I believe that's something flash card simultaneously, DisplayPort 1, HDMI 1, or DisplayPort resolution 4K up to 60 hertz. Uh, same thing with DisplayPort or Display Connector number 2. And then Display 3, DisplayPort resolution up to 8K 30 hertz, hertz plug and play. Display 4, HDMI 3 resolution up to 8K 30 hertz plug and play. It does have a DC port uh, for your power adapter, supports 100 watt output, LAN connector for one gigabit service, and your host port to connect to the laptop. I've really been eager for this guy, especially with um, just the benefits that it's promising. Grazie, thank you, danke, gracias, merci. Free 24 month warranty because that's good. So right here, it shows you that you can get a hold of their customer service team if need be. Here we have the dock is smaller than the power supply. That's hilarious. There's the dock itself. Yeah, what's up, Gak? And then here is your power brick. And when I say power brick, this is a power brick house. Mighty, mighty, letting it all hang out. You're old if you get that reference. I'm older for making that reference. So you do have a standard like hourglass shaped uh, cord to plug into the power supply. This is a hefty brick. And let's see on the back, it is, uh, I'll put 20 volt, six amp, 120 watts. So good power supply here. And it does include a nice thick USB-C cable to connect from your laptop to the dock itself. So I will probably end up sitting it like this on my desk. So this will be what I end up seeing. There's the power button, USB-C 3.0, 3.0, the um, micro SD card slot along with standard SD card slot, USB 3.2, 3.2, 3.2, headphone slash microphone jack. On the back side here, you have display one, display two, uh, HDMI three, and then USB 3.2, an ethernet port, and then this is where you connect to your laptop using the included cable. Now, what does this say here? Please download and install the driver from, and I can't exactly see everything, but it is, does have a little peel off sticker do here, telling us to download the driver. So download and install the driver from displaylink.com slash downloads. So we'll do that here in just a sec. Um, very simple and straightforward. I like this a lot. It's going to take up less room on my desk. I mean, this is very small and compact. I'm digging it. If I wanted to, I could lay it down like that. I'll probably put it like this, though, on my desk. And uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead. Let's get this set up because this is pretty simple. I'm, I'm liking this. So I've already gone ahead. I've pulled the power cable up through the back here. So we're going to plug that in. I'm going to pull that guy back off just so I can... Oh, back off. Uh, just so I remember to go ahead and download that driver. And I've got my two HDMI cables here for my monitors, USB connectors for my Rockware RC20 camera. That thing has been such a great camera for me. Now, one thing is I do wish that it did have a second USB-A 
support on the back. Um, just because sometimes that camera wants to have both pigtails plugged in and working. Now I've already connected the USB-C uh, male-to-male cable to the laptop itself. So we're gonna plug that in. Oh no! Womp womp, it doesn't clear. It doesn't clear. Well, crud, I could put it over on the side. That's an option. Well, for right now, we'll lay it down, but that's, that's a bummer, it's too tall. You know what would help? We're gonna turn on the lights on our RGB desk. There we go. Okay. Now at this point, I'm gonna slide, I forget what this was plugged into. I don't even remember what that was plugged into right now. Oh, that was my capture card. That's what it was. So I'm gonna plug that in the front. Hit the power button, and let's see. So my laptop now says on PD and charging. So I read it right away as far as my layouts that I have here that this is you know, my leftmost monitor, center, and my display on my laptop screen. So this is nice. This is working exactly like I would want it. Now, one of the things I can do here too is I'm gonna bring in my uh, cardioid microphone and we're gonna plug this right in the front. We light up here. That's good, I like that. Let's check and see here too. I just happen to have a, let's see, this is a 32 gig micro SD card and we are going to actually disconnect that USB cable for just a moment. I'm gonna see which way that needs to go. Plugs right in there. Everything popped right up. So what happens will it read both a micro SD card and a standard SD card at the same time. Now, those these ports here are not spring loaded. It's just a friction fit. Um, the micro SD card at least goes right side up with it laid down like this with the USB ports on top. The standard size card goes upside down. So that's interesting. Reads them both just fine. So that is good to know. I am very happy with that. Um, now, these are both 1080p displays, um, so I don't have the ability to really test out 4K or even 8K. I'm glad to know we're going to shut the lights off back here. We don't, we don't need the, the strobing effect going much more. Um, I'm, I'm glad to know that I've got that future capability. It's future-proof as far as that goes. I keep feeling like I got to talk here, even though I've mic'd up, so I'm a dummy. Um, I'm bummed out. It is a little bit too tall to fit underneath here. I think I am going to rewire it and I'll put it off to the side because we do have our uh, Avermedia live streamer AX310 that'll probably wind up underneath here. So that's, that's nice. Um, I like the fact the case is aluminum as well. That way it'll help dissipate heat for you too. Um, and the overall construction just seems really well thought out. I mean, except for the fact it's a little bit too tall. They didn't think of my desk. I'm kidding, of course. Um, but the fact too, that if I wanted to, I could connect a third monitor, like I do happen to have a Leapow portable monitor here, and I don't even remember what this one here is. Let's see. This is a WiMAX at one. Um, so if I wanted to have a fourth monitor here, and you know, the, the cool thing is this one actually has Wisa mounts or Visa mounts. Wisa or Visa, I don't remember which it is. Um, but I could get a you know another monitor stand here and basically have four monitors across the whole kit and caboodle, which, you know, this would be nice to kind of have that way. There are options. There are options I definitely need to look into here. Um, I do want to thank Tobin One for sending us one of these to check out. I mean, the beautiful thing, I didn't have to download anything. Windows 11 detected it right away and it just works. And that's really what you want, isn't it? Now, if you do want to pick one of these up, I will have a link down below in a pinned comment where you can go ahead and do so. And like I said at the beginning, we've been busy kind of redoing our whole workstation from our new autofold chair to our new desk that we have here. We have new microphones. We've now got the new 
docking station, things are just coming along. Um, if you wanna check and see like how easy it was to put this auto full chair together and just how comfortable it, cause this is really a nice chair. I like it a lot. I'll have that link for you right up there. Go ahead and check that out. I'm sure that you're gonna enjoy it along with some of the other improvements we've been doing lately.